Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibottoms coming to you with another video review. And, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Flip and Change Drift. As usual, here we have the packaging. Very similar to all the other ones, you got the Transformers logo here with the Age of Extinction logo down here at the bottom. You got the uh, sort of instructions here, Autobot Drift. You got the figure. Uh, it definitely looks like he has a looking down pose most of the time, which is kind of annoying. But flip around here in the back. Again, the silly five steps that they tell you that he has, although I really only think it should have three. You got the Smash and Change Grim or Optimus Prime and the Flip and Change Grimlock. And these are these are basically the steps. That's that's what you're looking at. These ones down here, it's kind of silly, but that's basically what you're looking at. But packaging, that is pretty much it. Uh, you can come around here in the bottom and verify that this is an authentic Transformer. So beyond that, that's about it uh, for the packaging. We have looked at several of these already, and the design is basically the same. The shell changes, but the design form is pretty much identical to that Lockdown as well as Bumblebee. So, without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Drift opened up and out of its packaging. And th this guy, I probably have the hardest time getting to line up properly. Uh, you can see, like, the front here doesn't like going down. I'm hoping that it's just mine because I do really like the way that this guy looks. It's the Bugatti Viron, which is, uh, it, as I said in my review of the Deluxe Class Drift, I believe the fastest street legal car that's out there. And I think they did a nice job. Uh, there's a really Really nice kind of bluish metallic paint here on the bottom you got the paint going across here this is just molded and then you got a nice Autobot logo there I mean you got the silver windshield and side windows I like how this is opened up as if it's the engine right there I think that's really cool looking I like the painted taillight you got the secondary Bugatti logo right there I messed that up in my deluxe review nobody wanted to let, uh, leave me alone with it he also has that here in his robot mode uh, you got the primary round Bugatti Bugatti logo there. I mean, I think it's really very sharp looking. Now, uh, size wise, here you have him next to that flip and change Bumblebee. And here's the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. So again, you see a nice uh, size scale, at least with these guys. Uh, if you're going to leave it in vehicle mode, I think that this is a great sort of representation. It, it nicely replicates the, the car. So if you were just collecting the various car Autobots, this works pretty good. One thing that doesn't work too terribly well is this is the Smash and Change Optimus. And as you can see, uh, a semi-truck is going to be a lot bigger than a couple sports cars. But eh, it's whatever i guess maybe you're just collecting the cars and not so much this guy now as i said i seem to have a bit of a hard time with this one getting this to line up again i'm hoping that it's just mine uh, but it, it could be others this is the first time that i've really had problems so to uh, transform them again this is actually a little bit different it actually overlaps you can see that the bugatti logo here kind of overlaps this extra tab so it makes it a little bit more difficult so you have to pull this one off first and then this and then you extend this out here, spin this around, then you extend it out like so. And then you can see it's already, see that's one thing. It, it feels like it's not rotated around as well as it should be. And then this part here doesn't like lining up. Uh, I, it, it's really kind of unfortunate. I mean, you're, you're really, I'm really kind of forcing things, but that, I mean, it, it just doesn't seem to work as well. So taking this out, rotating this around, and then again, you just spin it around, and boom, there you go. Uh, then just kind of this these gears, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan. Then you push this in, lock these in like so, and then bring these down. Straighten that out, and here you have drift. Now, people are constantly talking about how I have to pull the legs out more to get the uh, the legs or the feet to stabilize more. Doesn't matter. I, I can't. They don't pull out any further than this, and it's still weak. So it still wants to angle back, but because his upper body is kind of slanted forward a little bit better, there is a little bit better of a, a balance here. At least here on Drift. So I, I like that a little bit better. Uh, but he, he's got a really goofy look on his face. Uh, he's got this really funky smile, which looks creepy. I'm sorry. That really does look creepy, if you ask me. That, that smile, 
I'm not a fan of it. And then his face is silver when it really should be gold. Uh, that's just an, an accuracy problem, but I still like that it's actually painted. And again, those nice blue metallic paint apps still carry through here in the actual robot mode. So I do really actually enjoy the look of these. They do a good job putting some detail in here, despite the fact that they are, well, more kid sort of figures. He does still have some articulation, much like all the other ones. He rotates at the uh, upper part of the shoulder, moves in and out, rotates forward and back, bends here at the elbow, and then you've got the, the hand here that you can see is uh, painted in this metallic blue as well. So it sort of separates that look, but I really think that Lockdown's hands worked the best and looked the best. And then again, to transform him back, you just straighten these arms up, bring these out like so and then pull this section out from the side well this wasn't even really tabbed in all that well uh, there we go pull that out and then you spin this way and like i said it doesn't feel like it's spinning all the way around that it should um then you line this up it, and it just right here it doesn't feel like it's collapsing in as as far as it's supposed to so uh, getting that there, getting that, you got the little pegs and the holes on the side here. Get that, then bring this. And like I said, it just, this one feels like you're squeezing everything and kind of forcing it. Oh, that actually kind of locked together a little bit better. So, I mean, oh, well, because the door's not all the way in. Oh, no, that actually still keeps it in pretty nice. But it looks good uh, i i really do like the way it looks it's just functionally this particular one doesn't seem as good as the others uh his head does come out perfectly uh, i have zero problems with his head uh getting that pushed in and locked in there lock that in there uh, the head comes out very nicely and uh, like i said he actually balances a lot better than the other ones did so uh, and it has nothing to do with the legs guys like i said it's my table for the most part the other ones i can get to balance but i have to lean them forward like you saw in my bumblebee review but with uh, drift here it actually works pretty good because as i said there seems to be a little bit more of a balance coming forward and obviously you can always take the hands and counterbalance them and make them come a little bit forward as well but I mean, I do, I do like this guy. Uh, it's got issues. There's no question about it. Personally, I think that Bumblebee is the best one so far. And for a size comparison, uh, setting him there, here is a uh, Bumblebee and balancing him. Like, there we go. Get him balanced a little bit. You can see that size-wise, they are basically the same. Everything in terms of the engineering is the same on these guys. It's just it's covered in a different sort of shell. But, I mean, I even like, it's like they even went ahead and molded the hands differently. So, I mean, I really do appreciate the, the effort that's put into these guys. Uh, some people will complain about them, but... For kids, I really think that these work out pretty nicely. Um, it's just, I, I think the gears on this one are a little bit out of whack. So it's jacking things up on mine. So again, spin it. No, no, not that way. Spin it around. I know I'm. you're only supposed to spin it like twice or something, but I don't think it really matters all that much. But there we go. Get that rotated around. Lock that in. Bring this up. Lock that in. Bring this together and uh, oh, well, there we go and then just squeeze everything together and make sure it's all forced together but I do like the guy. All in all I think he's a fun figure that really will appeal to kids. I give him something quick and fun to play with and decent looking representations in terms of vehicle modes of the the Autobots in the movie. So if you're collecting car versions of them, I would recommend them. If you're a kid that wants to have fun, I would recommend it too. They are available right now at retail, but if you can't find them, go ahead and click on that link down in the video description. You'll go to Big Bad Toy Store, where these are in stock, and you can order them and add them to your collection today. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBottomus or by following me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optibotomus. Also, don't forget to check out my new website at OptibotomusReviews.com where you can see all my videos for the previous week as well as see what I have coming up for future release. And I'd also really appreciate it that if you like this review to please rate, comment, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. No!